If you are running here at Charton Linux using the Wine Emulator, with a little trick you can enable dark mode. All you have to do is uh, browse to the location that your wine bottle is installed. So mine is under Home Bottles Sierra Chart. Then you have to edit user.reg and you have to find the specific section control panel slash colors and you add a few lines here here we define the colors for the graphic elements you can tune the color of each element to your liking by changing the values on each line the values are hexadecimal color codes representations so let's say Set down Sierra chart. You have to wait a few seconds for wine to completely set down. Now let's start it again. As you can see, colors are now changed. The next step is to tune the colors via the Sierra chart preferences to our liking so we get a complete dark mode look and feel. So we click to global settings, graphic settings global and here we can start changing these elements. As you can see now, we have enabled a full dark mold for Sierra Chart. The menus, the buttons, everything is now changed. Now Sierra Chart colors are matching the dark mode theme I have on my desktop environment. If you want, you can have multiple color profiles on Sierra Chart by saving your configuration. You can go to Global Settings, Graphic Settings Global. You can select an entry from this menu. And click save settings give it a name and now you just save uh, your settings your color settings into into a new profile if you ever want to revert the color changes then to wine just uh, change to another uh, profile that you saved before or a predefined one. I'm gonna click this one and load. And now we just remove the entries we added in the beginning of the video to the user reg file. Let's uh, set down Sierra chart. Find the user reg. them here so we remove them we save the file and start here and chart again now our changes are revert and we are back to the default If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. 
you can find more videos related to Unix and Linux, trading and other areas that I'm interested in by subscribing to my channel. Make sure to also click the bell so you get notifications for any new updates. Thank you for watching.